Okay, so today I want to answer the question, why take a probiotic supplement? In another video, I talked about how to choose between probiotic supplements. And that's an important topic because you go into a health food store today and you're flooded with choices. And what we really wanted to do was say, okay, how do I evaluate these, these products? Uh, and there are three major issues and we talked about those. What I wanted to really talk about today is why do I even care? Why would I want to take a probiotic supplement? Well, there are probably a, a couple major reasons. First of all, we could say it's preventative or it's preventive. And here's what I mean by that. Uh, many natural health experts will tell you, you cannot be healthy unless you have healthy or sound digestion. One of the major components to digestion is bacteria that live in the intestine. See, when you eat your food, it gets broken down in the stomach through uh, interaction with acid and enzymes, and then it makes its way to the intestine where it's utilized. It's the bacteria that act on this broken down food that helps us to utilize it. So first and foremost, there are many people that would say, getting good amounts of bacteria in the body, of the good bacteria, is essential to digestion, which then makes it essential to health. So many people would say, just to be healthy, we should be looking at taking a probiotic. For example, you know, it's the same reason why you might wanna take a multivitamin. You think, well, I need this for just general health. Many people feel probiotics are, are that same kind of thing, just a preventative for general health. But then there are also some kind of response issues why you might want to take a probiotic. First of all, if you've ever been on an antibiotic, many studies would say that you should take a probiotic. If you think about just the words, antibiotic means against bacteria or against life. Most antibiotics will go in and they just kill. They just kill bacteria. They don't care if it's good or bad. So the important thing is to make sure that you're getting that good bacteria back in the body. An example of how do we really know this is the case? Well, a lot of people, when they take an antibiotic, they get some stomach upset, they get stomach problems. Well, that's because the bacteria has been imbalanced and when it's flushing out of you, you need to repopulate with the good bacteria. That takes us to another reason why you might wanna take a probiotic if you've had any kind of stomach upset or issues. If you've been ill, if you've been traveling and maybe you had something in your system uh, that didn't agree with you, when you have that kind of purging uh, situation going on, you are flushing the good bacteria right out of the digestive system and you wanna get it back in. It can actually, it's been studied with traveler's diarrhea to be incredibly beneficial and I've talked to many customers who have been traveling and have either been able to prevent what they feel would have been a situation or if they've had a situation, they take a probiotic and it almost within hours in some cases has just completely nipped it uh, and they've been able to go about their day whereas maybe other traveling companions were laid up for a day or more. So again, anytime you've had a stomach issue, that's another important reason. If you've been ill, immune function, I mentioned in the other video, 70% of our primary immune response starts with that bacteria in the gut it quite literally competes for space with bad bacteria. So essentially, if you have a good supply of good bacteria in the body, bad bacteria doesn't have as much of a chance to kind of take hold and start replicating. So it's, again, almost a preventative, but also can be used as uh, essentially, um, I don't want to say the word treatment, but it can be used if you get ill, many people would say, to enhance the immunity to kind of get you, get you back to being healthy. One other reason that you might want to look at taking a probiotic supplement is if you've ever had a problem with yeast in the body. Now, yeast comes in many different um, kind of forms, if you will. For example, a lot of people think of women and some yeast issues, but then also you think of things like um, athlete's foot, uh, jock itch, uh, thrush in the mouth. These are all symptoms of overgrowth of yeast. Now, yeast normally exists in the body and it belongs there and it needs to just kind of be in balance. What happens is it gets out of balance and one of the major players in keeping it in check is the beneficial bacteria. So if you've ever had any issues with yeast, also another good reason to look at taking a probiotic supplement. Finally, you may ask the question, how do I know if I even need this? What if I have enough bacteria in the body? Well, again, we go back to modern day lifestyle. Many health, natural health experts would suggest that our modern day lifestyle is constantly assaulting this good bacteria. What are some examples? Stress, processed foods, water. If you're drinking a chlorinated water, you are actually working to potentially damage or kill off some of that beneficial bacteria. This is why, again, I said in the beginning, so many people are, are, are telling us we should just take it daily. Forget about it, don't even think about it, take it. 
because there are so many reasons why you may be low in your bacteria. I would say certainly if you have any um, desire to enhance your digestive function, it's a great idea. So I hope that helps. I hope that kind of flushes out the, the answer to the question, why would I even want to take this? I hear so much about it today. One last note, I made it in the other video, but I wanted to make it here too, and that is that a lot of the functional foods and the processed foods that you're seeing marketed with probiotics, with acidophilus and beneficial bacteria, there's one thing to keep in mind here. They come along often with a lot of sugar. And this is kind of a catch-22 because in many cases you're taking this beneficial bacteria to help your immune system, to help if you've had a yeast overgrowth or something like that, and the sugar actually can feed the bad bacteria or the yeast. The sugar can actually uh, suppress immune function. So I caution you, if you're looking at functional foods, make sure you're getting one that doesn't have a lot of sugar, the high fructose corn syrup, a lot of things like that. Look for a product that is essentially as whole as you can get it. And in that case, food makes a great source.